I awake? I think so. It feels so. Yet I feel as though I haven't yet woken up from a dream. I find myself once again on this forest path, the gravel underneath my feet, thin leafy trees on my right and on my left. This single wood path stretches forward as far as the eye can see. I glance behind me just to see where I've come from and I see the same path stretching out of my view. The air, it, it smells woody and close. And once again, I feel utterly alone. Right now, though, I, I don't mind feeling this alone. I just wish that I could remember how I got here and, and who I am and, and why I'm here. I hear a bird in the distance. At, at least I think it's a bird. Oh my gosh, where am I? No, I, d I don't remember much of, of anything. I remember a screeching sound, some screaming, and then nothing. Nothing at all. I'm, I'm dressed in a brown woven woolen dress a brown linen trousers underneath the dress and have brown loosely woven shawl around my shoulders. So, I, I don't know if this is normal or not. I don't know if I'm used to this or not. I, I also have crudely made leather shoes on my feet. I'm checking my body piece by piece and I don't feel any pain, so... I don't think that I've been hurt. Oh, thank goodness for that, at least. I examine myself to try and get some idea of, of where I'm from and, and who I could be. My hair is dark with thick strands and, and it hangs past my shoulders to the middle of my back. It has been tied up with, with a piece of leather my skin seems slightly tanned on my arms and hands, but, but otherwise it seems quite light everywhere else. I, I assume I've been outdoors in the sun on occasion. My, my hands are soft, though, with my short nails being clean. Well, surely not the hands of someone used to manual labor. The skin that is uncovered on my face and neck and arms and legs are also soft. So it seems as though I'm accustomed to being indoors more than outdoors then. I'd better keep walking just to see where I end up. Maybe someone in a village or a town or city or, or somewhere will be able to tell me where I am or or which year it is, or which universe this is, or, or planet. Oh, goodness. Anything is possible at this... Did you hear that? In the distance. Was it a, a crow? I turn around tentatively. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. I hear nothing, I see nothing, but but suddenly I have a feeling that I am being watched. I, I want to walk onwards, but what is that in the distance behind me? Smoke? I, I swear it wasn't there when I looked before. M maybe answers lay there. Maybe I should go towards the smoke, but, but why do I have the sense of foreboding? 
Well, it's the only source of information that I have. So I turn myself around and start walking towards the way from which I have come. Suddenly, from behind, I feel a strong grip around my waist and around my mouth. I try to scream, but I can't. The grip is too tight. I try to struggle, but once again the grip is too tight. Is this the end? <laughs> there is a warm face next to mine. And for a brief moment, I stop struggling. I, I don't understand what's going on, and, and clearly the struggling is not going to help. He's obviously strong enough to overpower me. Shh, please listen to me. He whispers. somewhere safe. Just please be quiet and don't look back. I am not going to hurt you, but you need to promise not to look at me. Okay? I'm terrified. I'm shaking like a leaf. After a brief pause, I nod my head and, and he releases his grip. Long enough to tie something over my face. I have no choice now. I have to go with release. Oh God, what is happening? <laughs>